Whenever you turn on your laptop, you might have noticed the manufacturer's logo or the blue windows logo. Did you ever want to change this logo to something more customized? You can add your own custom logo. I had already changed here in my laptop the blue windows logo with these. Custom boot logos look good and add a personal touch to your computer. Before making any changes, create a full backup or rescue disk before making any changes to the Windows boot logo. Windows should run a new EFI mode, not legacy BIOS. You can easily check if Windows is running on new EFI or legacy BIOS. If Windows is running on new EFI, make sure the secure boot feature is turned off. Here as you can see in system information my system is already running on new EFI mode. Now here I am going to download a free and open source third party tool called HackBGRT. You can find this link for download in the description box below of this video. So download the latest version of HackBGRT. Open the zip file and extract the folder in it to your desktop. Here I am not saving it because I had already downloaded. Now, as you can see here I had already extracted the zip folder, open the extracted folder, you will see the file setup.exe. Before running the setup, here my first step is to open the MS Paint application to edit the image which will be the custom boot logo of my windows. Now open the image you want to set as a new windows boot logo. Here I have two images of my choice which I am going to use these images. This is the my first selected image for edit. Resize the image by clicking the resize button. Since the boot logo doesn't support transparent images, change the background color of your transparent image to black. Now save the image in 24-bit BMP format. Click on OK. Here as you can see my image is saved on desktop which is now ready in .BMP format to set Windows boot logo. Now I am going to edit my second image here. I am using both the images as Windows boot logo. Here I recommend you to watch this video till the end without skipping. Ok so this image is got saved in the download folder. I am saving it on desktop again. Now close MS Paint application. My first step is finished here. You can verify that if images are correctly saved in .bmp format or not. Let's move to second step. In the extracted folder. Double click on the setup.exe file. If your system doesn't support UEFI or you have it turned off you will be told so in the command prompt window that opens up. Similarly, you will be asked to disable secure boot if you have it enabled. Hit I on your keyboard to begin the installation. After that is complete the program will open a configuration file in a notepad. In this configuration file, you'll be required to specify the path to the image file you want to use to display. For that rename splash.bmp to evil.bmp, one of the image which I had saved on my desktop in the .bmp format.
You can also specify multiple images that will be picked up randomly with the specified weight. That's why I have prepared two images to show this. Specify second image in separate line. You can increase the probability of one by setting number. By setting number two, I want tdv.bmp my second image to appear as often as the other. Guys, please note here. In second line there is one correction that is after number 2, comma, don't give space. Type whole line without giving the space. The application settings are configured properly. So, first save the notepad file settings. After saving click on save as option. Now I'm going to show you my system mounted volume which is mounted by the program hack BGRT and given the drive letter A to it, which is hidden in which I have to copy both the images. When you install the program hack BGRT, it creates a folder in systems EFI folder that is hack BGRT in which your configuration file and both the images are remain saved. Right click on this image to copy. Now to verify if both the images are copied or not for that click on save as type then select all files from the drop down menu. Now you will be able to see the images here inside the folder hack BGRT. Here I am going to copy my second image tdv.bmp file from desktop to copy inside the hack BGRT folder with the other images. That's it guys now close this window and notepad file. Close this MS Paint application also. And press any key on your keypad to quit the command prompt screen. It's time to restart the system and check our new custom Windows boot logo. From now on, whenever you boot into Windows, you will see your new custom boot logo instead of the default Windows logo. Guys to see second boot logo restart the system again. Guys finally, if anything goes wrong and you are not able to boot into your system, which is very unlikely, use the recovery media to recover your computer. Or you can use the backup of the bootloader that was created by HackBGRT to recover the bootloader. Connect the USB recovery media with your system and boot from. If in case you don't know how to create USB recovery media or bootable USB installer then please find the link above on this video in the i button, right hand side of this video on my YouTube channel. Click on next. Click on repair your computer. Click on troubleshoot. Now click on command prompt to mount the system volume. Type the command that is mount volume space drive letter A colon space forward slash space letter S. Now type drive letter A colon to enter inside the system volume. Type dir to see the directories. Type cd space efi. To enter inside the EFI folder. Here as you can see three folders Microsoft, boot and hack BGRT. Now type this command to recover the bootloader from the backup created by hack BGRT. Type yes to confirm and then hit enter. Type exit command to close the command prompt and continue to boot Windows 10. That's it guys for this video and thanks for watching. I hope you found this video useful. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for interesting tech videos. Please hit the bell icon for notification of my new videos. Also hit the like button and share this video with your friends and comment. It would be great to know your opinions about my tutorials. You can also make requests for new tutorials. See you soon.